Ben with Hamilton Tile, and this is Jason Hamilton, our lead installer and owner. And today we're going to talk a little bit about glass doors, glass enclosures. Jason, what does our process look like for the glass shower enclosure install? It's really actually pretty simple. All we do is give you, you know, once, once the design's done, um, there's not much for you to really do. You just pick out color your hardware and uh, where the door is going to be, type of handle you want. It's really about all you got to do. The order's placed, seven to 10 days later it's in, and then we, we show up to supervise the glass install. They don't need supervision, but in case something happens or they need a hand or whatever, we're on site. We don't just give people, you know, keys and let's let them in, you know, your house unsupervised. You know, that's our job as you know, we're my only bathroom. We oversee everything, so. We finish the tile work and then what happens? From the day it's ordered, order's placed, seven to 10 days from to install. Okay, so we finish the tile work, we grout everything, we silicone everything. They come and do the template. Seven to days, ten days later, they come and install. install. So who's they? Chattahoochee Shower Doors. Um, my opinion, best in the business in this area. I've never had really any problems with them. Um, they know not to put any penetrations in the curb. You know, which is very important. That's the number one leak point for showers, and 99% of glass companies love to do that. Yeah, so look around at all these glass installations and we even have some on our website from the days of when we were working for builders to where they'll penetrate that, that, that curb that we worked so hard to keep waterproof and that could destroy a shower. We've seen those penetrations in the curb destroy a shower. So we have had one example of this happening for our, our, uh, the builder we were working for. There were penetrations in the shower curb. Can you talk a little bit about how, what happened? Well, it was basically a setup very similar to this, except for the builder, which I'd warned everybody countless times, tell them to stop doing it, but I wasn't in charge, so I don't really have any say so in at the end of the day. He liked to put clips everywhere. He put down here where you can't see, he put two clips. Each clip was held in, I believe, by at least two screws per clip. I want to say it might have been four screws per clip. So a grand total of eight penetrations in the curb, and he never shut any silicone in it, which doesn't do much. But he didn't do any take any attempt to seal it back up. So what happened over time, water found its way in, of course, and it slowly started lifting the tub deck, and they came back up. Not a number of times because it kept changing the angle of this right here so that the door wouldn't fit. So they kept adjusting it and then, they, then all of a sudden the shower started leaking. And guess who gets the first phone call? We get the first phone call. Well, I go in there in a matter of 10 seconds, I'm able to find out that it's from the screws. So, you know, not on us. And quite honestly, they deserve a new shower, but they didn't get one because it's kind of not my call. So it does actually happen to where you know, those penetrations cause leaks and that causes a lot of problems and glass guys will fight you until uh, they're blue in the face about their reasoning behind uh, why they put penetrations in the curb, but it's something for homeowners to really watch out for. I wrote an article on my blog at tileguysjourney.com called uh, why your glass installation can make or break your bathroom remodel. Uh, really informative article with pictures and illustrations and all that. A lot of great examples on there in order to illustrate why we use a great company like Chattahoochee Glass Shower Doors out of Johns Creek, Georgia. So how long does a glass installation take? Uh, it's about an hour. What is the pricing for an average glass door all the way up to say this one? The line item for the glass door is a significant one. So Jason, can you speak a little bit about pricing of glass? Uh, on average, I'd say the range is between 1500 and 2800 right around there. Um, a couple things that can affect that, you know, what kind of glass you choose, coating or no, no coating, because um, the reality is everybody wants these nice, beautiful, frameless ones, but some people don't want to pay for it. You know, they have this idea that the, you know, they, they get, they want to want the frame, it's really cheap, it's only eight, nine hundred bucks. Well, you want frameless, you know, on average it's going to be about fifteen to upwards of three thousand dollars on average. This one, for instance, I want to say was close to the 3000 range, you know, between well, maybe 2500 I don't remember the exact number, but right around there. Mm -hmm. Where does the cost come from for a glass shower enclosure? Uh, quality hardware, you know, that does it. This one had the shower guard coating on it, so that's what made the price a little bit more. But a lot of it's the hardware, because glass is glass. There's only like three manufacturers in the world, so glass is pretty much glass. And you know, she chooses to get a coating on it that helps for clean, you know, cleaning it and all that. So pretty much the quality of the hardware and the quality of the people putting in. 
So the shower guard is just a protective coating. Yep, think of it as a permanent rain -X. So here we have the one clip that is ultimately necessary for uh, this installation here. And then we have the other one in the corner. Um, and as you can see down here on our curves are generally uh, clip free all around the curb and to hold the door there and there. Jason, can you talk about the ANSI standards for glass installation? So ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, what are their standards for penetrations in um, a wet area? Well, it's the same as tile, basically, for when you put in your rubber liner or waterproofing system. No penetrations, two inches, either two or three inches above the curb. So from here on down, there should be no penetrations. Now, there's only one instance when you have to, but there's ways to do it where you technically don't penetrate the waterproofing envelope. There's only one instance if you get a pivot door, but there's ways to do that where you don't penetrate the waterproofing. Ben and Jason from Hamilton Tile, just a little talk about glass door installations, our glass door process, and the glass door company that we use. We look forward to uh, receiving your call for a, a brand new, incredible, tremendous, new shower, new master bathroom. Ben and Jason from Hamilton Tile, over and out.